Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, and we know the name of the Lord is Yahuwah, Yahweh, the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Can you say amen to that? Now go on down, glory to God. Verse 17. This is what we've been trying to get to. And we've already been there a little bit. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So friends, to be effective in walking with God and, and, and we're going to get more again back into prayer as we're led to do so. But it's important to understand faith because when you're in faith, your prayer becomes easy. Hallelujah. When you're living and walking in and by faith, prayer becomes a lot easier, you see, because prayer is what activates faith. Amen. Or faith is what activates prayer, you see. Believing prayer gets things done. Everybody say it out loud. Believing prayer gets things done. Can you say amen to that? Friends, I've had things happen in my own body. Physically, you know, stuff like toothaches and, and other bodily ailments. And uh, fortify myself in the word, lay hands on myself. And believe God, amen, for it to go away. Believe God, amen. Stand on God's word. Thank you, Lord, that by your strike I am healed and made whole. Amen. How I many know you can do that? You can, you can believe God. Lay hands on yourself. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. He didn't say it had to be somebody else. If you can believe, bless God, lay hands on yourself. Stand on God's word for your body to be made whole. Woman with the issue of blood <laughs> heard of a man that was healing and she had faith to be healed. And she said, all I've got to do, I don't even need to touch him. As long as I touch the clothes that he's wearing, I shall be made whole. So her faith made a declaration. When you have faith in your heart, that faith will talk. Remember, the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. God told Joshua, don't let this word depart from your mouth. Can you say amen to that? And before your eyes. So, so we declare the same thing that God's word said, not double-minded, not vacillating, not shaky, not oscillating, going back and forth, not believing in and then believing out. No, friends, steadfast. Say steadfast. In our faith, I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me in the word. By his stripes, I am made whole. Hallelujah. Can you say better that? And so this is why we don't run afraid, afraid of pestilences and diseases and uh, the, the news and the, 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 the evil reports that come from the outside. The word of God declares in Isaiah, who hath believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Friends, the word of God says it right here also in Romans 10 and, and 16. When you there say amen. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, the good news. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Do you see that in context? Lord, who has believed our report? Friends, whose report will you believe? Will you believe the world's report? The news? Fox, CNN, MSNBC, all the rest of those alphabets. Or we're going to believe, stand on God's word. Friends, I choose to stand on God's word. Regardless of the circumstance, regardless of how bad it looks, regardless of how bad it seems. Yes, faith says, faith says, it doesn't matter how bad it seems. Faith says God's word cannot lie. Faith says God's, God has integrity. Faith says God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. So if God cannot lie and we're standing on his word, we can't go down because God's not going down. Are you standing on the word tonight? Sometimes, friends, it may help your faith just to get your Bible and put it on the floor and then stand on top of it. To let you know I'm standing 
on God's word. I'll leave you with this. Peter, when he saw uh, the Messiah, he saw Yeshua out there on the water and he saw him walking on the water. Peter was in the boat and he saw the Messiah walking on the water. And he said, he said, Lord, if that's you, bid me come to you. And the Lord said, come on, <laughs> come on. And so he's walking on the water, friends, and they, they see him walking on the water. Get that picture. Peter steps out of the boat. And for a little while, everything's great. Everything's wonderful. Peter's got his eyes fixed on Jesus. He's got his eyes fixed on Christ. He's got his eyes fixed on the Messiah. And as long as his eyes are fixed on the Messiah, he walks the water just like the Messiah. But then Peter, the human side of Peter kicked in and Peter got to looking around and his mind, his carnal mind kicked in and his mind said, wait a minute, this is impossible. This is not possible what you're doing. You're not supposed to be able to do this. And so he got his eyes off of Christ, off of the Messiah. And y'all, when he got his eyes off the Messiah and started looking at the circumstances, started looking at the situation and looking at how impossible by man's standards it was, the natural law kicked in and he began to sing. You see, he was walking in a higher spiritual law that declares it's the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus made us free from the law of sin and death. That law is standing on the word of God. He was literally all walking on the word because the, the, the living word had declared come. Yeah. So he's walking on that spoken word. And as long as he walked on that word, he skimmed that water. The minute he got his eyes off the word, he started remembering his human frailty and what he couldn't do in himself. And that natural law kicked in. And boom, he starts to sink. Right. What lesson is there in that for you and I today? What is the water? The water is the, the, all the bad news is going out there. All the stuff that's going to kill us out there. Right? All the stuff is going to take us out if we don't do this, if we don't do that. The thing that everybody is bowing down to. It. What are we to do, friends? Bless God, we're to walk out on the word Amen. with our eyes stayed fixed on Yahshua. He said, I, in Isaiah, he said, I will keep him in perfect peace, friends, whose mind is stayed on me. How can we keep our mind stayed on Christ? One way to do it is to keep our mind stayed on his word because he and his word are one. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. Friends, when you're meditating in the word, you're keeping your mind staying on Christ because Christ and his word cannot be separated. Can you say amen to that? So we keep our mind stayed on him by keeping our mind stayed on the word. What does the word say? We get up in the morning asking ourselves, what does the word say today? Yes, we go to sleep at night saying to ourselves, what does the word say? And we say the same thing that the word says about us. His report says, I am healed. His report says, I am filled. His report says, I am free. His report says, victory. His report says, I am a new creation. His report says, I'm delivered from the power of darkness. His report says, I can do all things. His report says, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. His report says, God is for me. God is on my side. I shall not fear. What can man do to me? His word says, you see, this is what God says. This is what we saturate our minds with so that when the devil does come, we've got some ammunition to declare, no devil, you come no further. I bind you. I take authority over you. I command you back off, back up and back off of me. You've got no power over me. I belong to God. I belong to Yahuwah. I am saved. Washed in the blood. He is, I am the temple of God. He lives in me. The greater one lives on the inside of me. And I've already overcome the spirits of Antichrist. Friends, that's being strong in the Lord. And in the power of his irresistible might. 
And the more word you get in, the, more, the stronger you become. The more word you ingest, the stronger you become. The more word you get in, the more you extract spiritual power. Power to overcome sin. Power to overcome the flesh. Power to overcome weaknesses. Power to overcome the mind. Power to overcome what people are doing to you. Power to forgive when others cross the line. Power, friends. There's power in this walk with God. We've got to learn to tap into it. You understand that? Can you say amen to that? The body of Christ rising up and taking its place in the spirit and power of Elijah means we are full of the word and full of the Holy Ghost. We know whom we believe and we will not be moved by any report out there. Hallelujah. Somebody say ain't scared. Come on, somebody say ain't scared. Hallelujah, ain't scared, glory to God. We stand on God's word. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Nothing more powerful than the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away before one word of God will fail. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Word of God speaks, amen. Faith comes out what? Hearing, hearing by the Word of God. So if you're going through something, friend, in your life or even in your body, don't forget to stand on God's word. Ex fully being fully persuaded, fully expecting that God has already given you what you need. You are appropriating that by faith, you see. You're praising him that is already done. Hallelujah. Can you say amen to that? When we say thank God by his stripes I'm healed, I praise God that it's already done. Hallelujah. I'm all, I, I was healed 2,000 years ago. I thank you, Father, that it's done. So I'm appropriating it by faith. Yes? So when we hear a different report, we reject that report like, the, like Caleb and Joshua Rejected the evil report back in the days of the spies that were, that were over in Canaan land. Remember that? They brought back a good report. That was a report that give us this mountain. Give us this land. We're well able to take it. Why? Because God says we can take it. So Y'all, we're believing God to give the heathen for our inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for our possession. We're believing God for our town, for our cities, for men and women, boys and girls to be saved and baptized in the Holy Ghost. That in the midst of all of these things, that God is moving by his spirit through the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Only believe and you shall see the glory of God. What is the work of God? that we believe on him that, that sent him. How many believers in the house tonight? Amen. So then that means we can pray and pray with power. When we pray, we pray with authority. When we come to God, we come boldly by the, by the blood of Jesus to the throne of grace to receive everything that we need, hallelujah. Recognizing that the blood has cleansed us and now we stand righteous before God and then there's nothing holding us back. And even our own conscience has to bow because God's greater than our heart and knows all things, even if our heart's trying to condemn us. In other words, y'all, we're developing, we're developing deliberately, purposefully developing a sun consciousness and dropping sin consciousness. Can you say amen to that? All right. Hallelujah. Y'all get anything tonight? We're standing on God's word. Yes. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing by the word of God, you get the word in, faith is in your heart, you declare that with your mouth. You declare the spirit of faith, I declare with my mouth what I believe in my heart. That's how we got saved, yes? That's how you get filled with the Holy Ghost, yes? And that's how you receive anything else that you need from God. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe in my heart, I declare it with my mouth. Amen. By his stripes, I believe, by his stripes, I'm healed. So I declare with my mouth, hallelujah, thank God I'm made whole. Like the woman with the issue of blood. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I 
shall be made whole. And what did the Messiah declare to her? He said, daughter, thy faith. Daughter, thy faith. Daughter, thy faith has made you whole. Go and be whole of this plague. How many know he's the same God now as he was back then? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all pleading the blood, glory to God, over all your family and your home. No plague should come near our dwelling place, over your body. We're doing everything in the natural we're supposed to do, but, but let's do everything in the spiritual we're supposed to do. Let's build up ourselves on our most holy faith. Jude 20, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping ourselves in the love of God, because faith worketh, according to Galatians 6, by love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we give you praise. We love you tonight. We thank you for who you are, what you've done, what you're doing, what you shall do. We thank you that your word is working mightily in us tonight. We understand that there's nothing we can do on our own. But we also understand that you told us to be strong in you and in the power of your might. So we thank you for the word working mightily in us tonight. I thank you that as your people have heard your word, that faith has come. I thank you that they are doers of the word, not hearers only. I thank you that as they leave this place today, they'll leave in faith believing. And you said in your word, whatever we ask in prayer, in faith believing, we shall receive. Hallelujah. And so we thank you tonight that we're blessed and highly favored. We thank you tonight that we're above and not beneath. We're, we're the head and not the tail. We are blessed when we go in and blessed when we come out. When the enemy comes against us one way, he must flee seven ways. We're blessed. Hallelujah. The blessing of Abraham has come upon us through Jesus Christ because we are people of faith. Hallelujah. And so it's done and we give you glory and honor and praise for that. Full of faith and power in this critical hour. And we're rising up to take our place. I thank you for what you're doing in the body of Christ. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Can you say amen to that? Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, dear Father God, in Jesus' name. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit may rest, remain, and abide with you, in you, and upon you, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. In the name of our Lord, Yahshua Hamashiach, we pray. Everyone that would agree said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. How about you? Glory to God. All right, y'all, let's, let's leave here strong in the Lord. Amen. And in the power of his might. Amen.